Hello, dear friends. In this video, we will talk about uh, the padlock of a non standard design of my development. I will tell you what it consists of, what is the principle of operation, features associated with exploitation, the lock consists of the case with the turn K entry, and two grooves inside, small and large. The combined K with the eccentric and the slot in the middle. The secret mechanism it consists of two screws, small, large and the nut. One of the screws has a response part for the eccentric. The other has the counterpart for the slot in the key. On the principle of a screwdriver. The nut has slots for fixing in the housing and slots for entering the key. In the thread fit the two screws. The bushing for centering the secret mechanism. The principle of operation is based on the wedging of the screw pair inside the housing. The bushing is inserted into the hole. The secret mechanism is inserted into the bushing. Then everything is closed by the case. The K pushes the secret mechanism all the way. The nut is fixing in the slot of the housing with its hour grooves. Now possible relative to hers to unscrew the screw by the eccentric. The lock body has a free rotation on its axis. So after we unscrew the screw until it stops, you need to turn the lock body to the other side. Get the key into the groove. There it's easily find the response part on the small screw which we turn until contact with the large screw. When the planes touch inside the thread, the movement of one screw relative to the other becomes impossible. This is the basis for the secrecy of this lock. In order to turn the screw with the eccentric, you must first return the small screw that serves as a plug. Next, I will tell you about all the features associated with exploitation. The secret mechanism is inserted into the bushing in the direction from the larger diameter to the smaller one. The dimensional connection is calculated in such a way that when the bushing bank in the hole rests against in the ledge, its movement becomes limited and wedging the mechanism inside the case automatically opens space for entering the key. If the secret is inserted in the other direction, and if the bushing will have some free movement in the hole, it may overlap this space. This may create some problems with entering the key, therefore it is better to insert from the larger diameter. After we have wedged the screw on one side, we need to turn the case to the other side, but not exactly 108 degrees, but about 160, either above or below. Since the nut is fixed only in two positions, its groove will be either at the top or at the bottom. To determine its position, you can look into the hole for entering the key but it is better to immediately get used to acting by touch. For example, try first from the top, blocked, take out the K, try from the bottom. OK. Combine the K with the smaller screw and twist it until it comes into contact with the larger screw.
Now you can immediately make sure that the rotation of the larger screw with the eccentric is not possible. That's all. The lock is in the closed position. The opening takes place in the reverse sequence. To get into the groove you need to learn with the K to find this distance. This may seem difficult from the outside, but in practice it is simple. When you know how it works inside, the habit develops literally in the first few openings and closings. During operation, determine which hand is more convenient to get into the eccentric and which one to get into the groove. In the closed position the engagement is 8 mm on each side. In the closed position the K entry hole should be directed downward to prevent water from collecting inside the case during rain. The lock is excellent in winter. It does not need lubrication. It does not jam. The thread is always engaged. The lock has no small parts. There is nothing to break. If it is a little gripped from the cold, just shake it. The lock comes to leave and continues to work smoothly. Now as for resistance to hacking. I am more than sure that the attacker will not even understand how the device works. On examination he will find that there is nothing on either side. In the hole which is directed downward there is a void. If he thinks to turn the case he will find a blind hole on one side and a slot on the other. The small screw is located far enough away from the surface of the case. It is difficult to see it in depth. Whether the attacker will be able to understand the principle of operation based on what he saw is difficult for me to say. One thinks it's obvious. If he doesn't understand it, the lock will not be open. And if he understands it, he will need to make special tools or arm himself with an automatic saw. The difficulty of opening without a key, here is the difference in the size of the entrance slot on the case and the parts that are inside. It is the difference in size that does not allow you without obstacles get to the details of the mechanism both on one side and on the other. To make a special tool you need to correctly guess the dimensions, which is quite problematic to do on the eye. In addition you will need different tools for both sides. Most likely all this will lead to the fact that the lock will not even try to open by anyone and will switch their attention to another object or to another way to get inside. I consider that on this my story is exhausted. I shared my idea with you. The last word about how serious the lock turned out in all respects, of course, remains with you. Thank you for your time and I wish you all good health and good luck. See you soon.